Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the following math puzzle. We have to place the numbers 1 to 12 in the 12 circles below, so the sum of each side of the triangle is 36. The numbers may be used once only. The strategy I'm going to use is, I list the numbers 1 to 12 so that I can take out the numbers that has already been used for the puzzle. So, to do that, I have numbers 1, 2, numbers 1 and 2 are out. Note that I'm doing that because we've been told that each number can only be used once. Also, I have numbers 3, 5 and 6. So I'm going to cross out 3, 5 and 6. If I go back to the diagram, I have numbers 7 out, 10 and 12. I have 7, 10 and 12. I've been able to pick out all the numbers that have been used. So therefore, the numbers left are 4, 8, 9 and 11. The next step is from the question, we've been told that the sum of each side of the triangle is 36. So what that means is, starting with the right hand side of the triangle, if I label this empty box X, I have the numbers 12 plus, that's the sum, 7 plus 3 plus X plus 10. A triangle has three sides, so what I've done is to add all the numbers in one of the sides, that must add up to 36. So we have all that equal to 36. If I had 12 plus 7, that's 19 plus 3, 21, 22, plus 10, that's 32. I'm going to have 32 plus x equals 36. I'm taking out 32 from both sides using the balance method. What I have is 32 minus 32, that's 0. Then I have plus x equals 36 minus 32, that's 4. So therefore, my x in this case is 4. So I'm going to change the value of x here to 4. And I'm going to cross out 4 from my list. I'm left with 8, 9, and 11. The next step is to label the remaining empty space. I'm going to fill it up with variables. So I have x again repeated. I have y and z. Note that we've been told that the sum of each side of the triangle add up to 36. So if I label this side as side A, I have side B, which I've done to find 4, and I have side C. Let me start with side A. So for my side A, what I have is 12 plus x plus 5 plus 2 plus y equals 36. 12 plus 5, that's 17, plus 2, that's 19. So I have 19 plus x plus y equals 36. Therefore, x plus y subtracting 19 from both sides will give me 36 minus 19, that's 17. I'm going to keep that as my first equation with two variables x and y. The second step is I have, for my c side, I have y plus z plus 6 plus 1 plus 10 will give me 36. y plus z plus, I have 6 plus 1, that's 7 plus 10, 17 equals 36. And subtracting 17 from both sides, I have y plus z equals 36 minus 17, which is 19. So that will be my second equation 
x plus z, sorry, y plus z equals 19. So therefore, without necessarily using simultaneous equation, if you look at the combination of the numbers left, which is 8, 9, and 11, I need a common number between the two sides, which is y, such that if I add y to z, it will give me 19. And if I add y to x, it will give me 17. So assuming my y is 11, I'm going to do a quick test. 11 plus 9 is 20. 11 plus 8 is 19. But because I have 19 here, I don't have the second number to be 20 or 17 as the case may be. So therefore, my y cannot be 11. The next step is to check if my y is 9. So what that means is 9 plus 8 will give me 17. However, 9 plus 11 will give me 20. In my expression, the two equations that I have, x plus y and y plus z, I need a combination that would give me 17 and 19. So therefore, my y or the common number cannot be 9. The third step is to use 8 as my y. And if I do a quick check, 8 plus 9 which will give me 17, 8 plus 11 will give me 19. So therefore, my y would be 8 because I got the exact combination I needed. So therefore, if my y is 8, I've been able to slot that in the diagram. My x, the combination that will give me 17 will be 9. So I have my x to be 9. And if you check the addition of 12 plus 9 plus 5 plus 2 plus 8, that will give us 36. And my last missing number will be my z, a combination of 19, it's plus 11. So therefore, the last missing number will be 11. Thanks for watching. Bye.